Hey, what's up fam? Okay, if you got me coming to you from the car, you know I'm on the hunt for a new pond. So, or I'm just going fishing. But today, I'm on the hunt for a new pond. Saw a couple on the map driving up Route 28 here back towards my house. Go check these out. They're both. They're all in commercial complexes, kind of tucked back away. Uh, we will see what they have to offer. I don't know. I've never been there before, but you don't know until you go to these ponds. You can't be afraid to go and check them out and drive around. Pull up your Google Maps and just look and see if you see ponds, and then you drive and see if you can fish them. Uh, some ponds you're going to be allowed to. Some ponds you're not going to be. You can ask permission on some of these ponds that say no fishing. Sometimes they'll say they don't care. Sure, go ahead. Um, most of those no fishing signs and no trespassing signs on these commercial properties are strictly for liability only. Uh, you know, I'm not a big litigious guy. I'm not going to sue you if I fall on your pond while I'm fishing. But some people will, and that's the problem with a bunch of <laughs> today. You know, they feel like they're entitled to something because they hurt themselves doing something they decided to do. Not me. Not this cat. Hey, man. I'll be like, hey, sorry I broke my arm. Uh, never gonna tell you, but I'll come back with a cast on. Can I fish again? Got a nice, got, got some nice bass in there. All right, a couple new lures I picked up at Dick's today. Picked up another rattle trap that I lost in a tree the other day. I caught about 15 fish on this when I had not caught anything on the red for a while. This one with the clear and it's got the beads in it. You can see the BBs. And I picked up this one because my girl wanted a purple one. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. Picked up an X wrap. XR8, just in a shad color. Picked up a glide bait, just a square bill glide bait, jacked up shad swim bait. Um, we'll see how that does. This is the Bass Pro version. That's all they had um, at Cabela's. So we're gonna give that a whirl and uh, see how that boy, bad boy looks. Um, I picked up some Yamasenko swim Senkos. And um, I picked up a huge glide bait, an eight inch one, which I'm gonna give a whirl, not in this pond, but I'm gonna give it a try. So that's what we got. Guys, pro tip, your rattle trap containers, or any kind of container like this, great for your memory cards. They snap together and you're good to go. This is that huge swim bait that I got. Check out that XPS Pro series. Look at that bad boy. That's a big mamma jamma. All right, we got the uh, new favorite, my new favorite rod we just got in, the Absolute. Uh, we're gonna give that a whirl with, and this is how I keep my A-Rig on here. So just a lure holder, squeezes a, that A-Rig together and it's, keeps it all in order. I see fish flashing already over there. I'll make one or two more casts. I'm heading to the next pond. Because guys, when you see stuff like this and all these tadpoles, my experience is there are not many fish that are going to bite your worm, your jerk bait, or whatever you have going on. Might get lucky, one or two. There's gonna be some fat, fat fish in here, man. See a nice bass sitting right underneath there. Try to pitch in over there, we'll see.
There we go. Got him. You see him? Come get that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, he just threw my worm, my last Senko. Come here. Come here. Son. Son. That's a nice little bass right there. He darted out and got that. that. That boy darted out and got that really, but he's heavy for his size. See how heavy he is. Man, he just darted out and got that. I'll get you back in here in a second, buddy. Pound? One and a quarter pounds right there. Nice little fish. Thank you for letting me catch you. I got to get an Instagram photo really quick, my friend. I'm going to put you back on your way. And I can see him right under that bush. The thing that sucks is he took my last, dropped my last Senko right below me in the water there. At least that color Senko. Of course, that wouldn't matter what color Senko that was. That thing hit the water, and he was on it. It's funny that I saw him hit it, but I didn't even feel the tick. I saw him, but I didn't feel it. Let's walk around a little bit here. This one large mouth. Yeah, I do YouTube videos around the area. Just little ponds here and there. And then uh, I teach the kids about stuff. What's your channel? Uh, the Rone Boys is my last name. So the R-O-N-A-Y. It'll pop right up, man. Check it out. Yeah. But I fish with a lot of local guys, man. We go out all the time. Right, so check it out. Yeah, man, appreciate it. What's your name, bro? Will. Will John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Enjoy the day, man. Guys, there's no way this just happened. Look, another rod broken. Dude, I just got this rod. I haven't even cast. I had not taken one cast off this favorite rod. Absolute favorite. This thing, I have no idea, guys. This is so frustrating. This was sitting in the back of my truck. And I know I didn't hit it with the, I know I didn't close it in there. Man, I don't know. Man, this is so frustrating, guys. These rods snap. I mean, it's a $50 rod right there. That's cheap. I know it's not super expensive, but it just sucks when you get these things and they break. I, I need to get a rod holder for up here. I need to make something to hold my rods up out of this truck. It makes me sick to my stomach every time I, one of these rods breaks. I had the incident a couple weeks, about a week ago, two weeks ago. They, I put the rods in the boat. They weren't secured down. They flew out in, in, tra in transit. Um, and I lost four rods, three, I, four I got, well, I got those three rods, th four I got back were broken, or two of them were broken, and now I just got this happen. I mean, like, I have not even, I, I haven't even cast it with this thing once, not once. Man, it sucks, it sucks. A huge snapping turtle bait in itself. That huge snapping turtle out there just hanging out. Look at him. Sick to my stomach, man. I just gotta stop buying new rods. It's kind of plain and simple. Big old snapping turtle right there.
on fish. Guys, oh man, that's a tank. Oh, he was sitting right in that bank. That's a nice fish right there. Does that make up for a broken rod? I don't know. Oh, guys, that's a nice fish right there. I thought it was a stick. Man, that's a nice fish, guys. We're gonna weigh that sucker. I'm gonna put a scale on him. That's probably my, oh no. Where's my scale? Ah, that's two pounder. We're gonna say it's two pounds. Maybe two and a half. I wanna know. That's a Mondo. Thanks, man. You guys, that's a chunker bass right there, man. That's a big bass. That's a big boy. That was a nice bass right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Come in, take care of the fish, get out, good to go. They're all over the place in here. You just gotta know where to look for them. Sometimes you got them, sometimes you don't. Oh, look at all these bass just sit. Oh my God, look at these bass sitting in here. There's a big bass sitting there. I think that's a bass. It looks, I don't know what that is. I know. I just saw a couple bass, so I know they're in here. That one, the last one hit it like a freight train. So definitely, uh, little one's pulling on it right in there. Get him up. Don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. It's a nice little guy. Nice little, nice little pounder. Chunky over here. Now you find these little honey holes, man. People don't hunt, don't fish. And they can be a gold mine. Bet you they got some five pounders in here easy. A two and a half felt like a train. That's where I caught that first one in that corner. Caught the second one over here. Caught the third one right here. Little ones. I want you little ones eating my bait. Eating my worm, kids. Ah, oh, there we go. It's foul hooked. How did you even do that? How did that even happen? Look at that, guys. That's a worm. Oh my god, that's gotta hurt, bud. I'm sorry. Ugh. Man, I don't know how you're gonna make it there, buddy. Woo, look at that. That sliced him open. He'll be all right. That's the strangest way to hook a fish I've ever seen. All right, so again, pretty decent little day. Getting out, doing some fishing. Just trying to find, kind of back in here off the side. Have to get up in there, but it's, uh. You know, some of these ponds are, you got, you got to work to get to them. It's like a good hunting spot. You got to work to get to them. So, pretty exciting when you can find a nice little spot like that. 
got a little two and a half pounder and uh man for a broken rod i guess i'll trade that <sighs> sucks about the rod but here's what it is so we're gonna hightail out of here get ready to go get the boys and uh yeah another fun day of fishing this is your short video out of baseball game for brooks tonight just bringing some good foot fishing footage hopefully it all came out all right and you guys enjoyed it so if you did like subscribe shoot me some comments and uh hey man if you're local in the northern virginia area let's let's go fishing we'll either hit some ponds your way or my way do a little collab and uh we can also go out on my boat so whatever you guys want to do hit me up all right talk to you later thanks again much love <laughs>